Are you tired of watching videos on how to grow on Twitch, but you feel like you're doing everything that the video says? Well, by the end of this video, you will realize exactly what you were doing wrong and why you are not growing. Everything in this video also applies to streaming on Kick as well as YouTube Live. I've been marketing full time for years and it's like a second language to me. With that being said, I have a passion for helping small streamers grow and build their platform. I'm happy to break marketing down for you and explain why marketing is the key to success with anything, especially with something as saturated as streaming. I've been making YouTube videos on how to grow on Twitch for over a year now, and I'm very happy with all the positive feedback that I've gotten. If if you learn anything in this video, make sure that you leave a like on it as it directly helps my algorithm. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, stay to the end of this video where I will be discussing more. Step number one, you need to create a viral worthy name. I'm going to be the voice of reality when I say nine times out of ten your name is probably not good enough. A name is fundamentally the most important part of your stream and so many people overlook it. The problem that I see with most names is the fact that it does not intrigue me. It doesn't stick in my brain. It doesn't make me question anything. It doesn't make me laugh. It doesn't do anything. A perfect name does one of these things. For example, I take pride in the name Twatter because more than likely it stood out and and intrigued you to the point where you decided to click on my videos and it's why you're here today. A good way to do this is by having a pun in your name or by playing off of a popular joke that everyone knows. Your name will be the first deciding factor if someone wants to check out your stream. Do not let this go to waste. Step number two, creating the brand around your name. Your name is the first layer to your brand, however, it should coincide with the rest of your streaming profile. For example, if your name is a play on words, make sure that your profile is a visual depiction of that same thing. For example, if your name is Chucking Wood as a play on that how much wood could a woodchuck chuck a wood Chuck, chuck wood saying having your profile picture being a woodchuck chucking wood into a pond would be very clever and coincide with your brand or have it be the old woodchuck that they used on the geico commercials to bring back some nostalgia to an older crowd not only should your profile picture be related to your name but your panels as well as your entire theme should be as well in this example your bio should say something like i hang out by the hoover dam chucking wood to my viewers every wednesday at 9 p.m est this schedule part is really important but i'm going to be explaining that more in a later step step number three create social media profiles around your streaming brand notice how i I haven't said that you need to have your first stream yet. If you are focused on growing, you should not be streaming until you have all of these fundamentals set up. There is nothing wrong with streaming for fun, but if you are looking to grow, then you need to take it serious with the marketing effort necessary in order to create an audience around yourself and your streaming brand. Twitch, nor any streaming platform, will ever magically put viewers in front of your stream because they have no algorithm set up for small streamers to take advantage of. They are all built on a rich get richer system, meaning if you don't have any viewers, you will never be discovered and you'll stay at the bottom of all of these categories, meaning that you'll stay trapped in the dreaded one to two viewer loop. With that being said, you need to create these other social media platforms to put yourself and your streams out there to more potential viewers. The more people that know about you as a streamer, the more likely you are to have some of these people stop into your streams. In today's day and age, it is both extremely easy and difficult to reach new viewers. You have all of these social media platforms such as TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, X, formerly known as Twitter, anything that you could use to reach new people, which then you could direct these people into your streams. Create all of these social media pages with the same branding as your Twitch, as well as write your bios in a way that will funnel all of your traffic to your streams. Just like I mentioned with the stream bio. Step number four, plan out your next stream with enough content for clips. Streaming can be as easy as clicking go live, but for the most effective results, you should plan out your entire stream before going live. This will ensure that your entire stream is entertaining as well as give you plenty of content for clips. If you watch any of my videos before, you know that my biggest piece of advice is to post on other social media platforms. This is because Twitch nor any social media platform has any form of algorithm that will put viewers in front of your streams. With that being said, you need to take these clips that you are getting from your stream and post this content on other social media platforms such as TikTok, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, etc. What this does is it allows your content to be in front of more potential viewers so that you are that much more likely to have someone checking your stream out. For example, if you go live and have one to two viewers, your stream will be nearly impossible to find in any category. Posting your content on these other social media platforms will give you a chance to be exposed to new people rather than forever being buried far down in the category. Because once you start getting people from these other platforms into your streams, you will rank higher on these categories and then you will start to reach even more people directly on the streaming platform. Clips slash posting short form content is the most most important part about growing on Twitch in 2024. And that leads me to step number five, create a strict schedule. When I say a strict schedule, I do not mean streaming every day. Truthfully, in the beginning, the less you stream, the better. And I'm going to explain exactly why. If your total community size is 10 and you stream every day, more than likely these 10 viewers will only get to watch your stream every once in a while, leaving your average viewers pure stream at less than two. Whereas if you streamed once a week, you are much more likely to have all of your 10 community members able to make it to this one stream. And then you will be able to leverage your audience to get even more viewers by being higher up in any category. Like I mentioned earlier, Twitch is built on a rich get richer system, meaning that if you have viewers, they will recommend your content to more viewers and help you grow. This is why step number four and five combined is very important. And let me explain to you how to make the most of it. If you stream once a week on any platform, all of your other energy slash free time can go into making and posting clips, which is going to be what leads to growth. When you post content on these other platforms, it's much easier to funnel these people into your streams with a strict schedule. For example, if you comment on all of your posts saying something like I stream every day at 3 p.m. EST, these people may come to your next stream. But back to what I said before, if you are streaming all the time, they can watch you 
you whenever you want and your community will be spread out throughout the week. Whereas if you comment on all of your posts that you stream every Monday at 3 p.m. EST, all of these people that see any of your TikTok, YouTube shorts, etc., will know exactly when your next stream is and they will be that much more likely to show up because it's a rare once a week occurrence versus something that they can go and see whenever they feel like it. When you have more of your new community members showing up, you will rank that much higher on categories and grow that much faster. If you follow these five steps and repeat the process of four and five, specifically sticking to one stream a week at the same time, focusing all of your other energy on clips to reach people to funnel into your streams, it will be impossible not to grow. If you feel as if you are doing this already, but you are still not seeing growth, I hate to tell you this, but you are doing something wrong, or maybe you are just simply not doing enough of it. If you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one and have me tell you not only exactly what you are doing wrong, but also how to fix it, I'm looking for new streamers to work with in my Patreon. You can join any of my tiers here. All of these come with one-on-one -on -one management and direct advice to help you with your streams, no matter what niche you are a part of or what game you play. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you are a streamer or thinking about becoming one, consider subscribing because I have a lot of streaming related content and a huge video plan when I reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. If you are a streamer, I think this next video here will interest you.